say hi to John Baptiste to stay human, everybody. <laughs> folks, as you may know, as you folks may know, in here and out there around the world, uh, you may know I'm a father, and uh, I evidently throw off major dad vibes. <laughs> because Twitter is flooded with comments like, Stephen Colbert would be a great dad. And I wish Stephen Colbert was my dad. And countless other things calling me their dad. <laughs> None of these people, by the way, my children. <laughs> Even Katy Perry posted this Snapchat with me and captioned it, my dad. <laughs> I'm not surprised to find out I'm a role model to Katy, because I once just kissed a girl, and I liked it too. <laughs> that's, that's how I ended up with the kids. <laughs> Well, I know how important quality time with a parent can be, so I think it's time to sit down and have a little talk. That's right, America. Dad's calling a family meeting. Get in here. <laughs> All right. Hey, kiddo. Hey, kiddo, cop a squat. Listen, I just thought, uh... You and me could talk about a few things. Whatever's on your mind, you know I'm here for you, okay? And uh, just in case there's some questions I can't answer, I invited another dad who's not your father but feels like he could be. Bill, can you come on out here, please? How you doing? Listen, champ, uh, listen, first off, uh, Bill and I know your body is changing, okay? <laughs> we imagine you got some questions because our bodies are changing. We got a lot of questions. <laughs> like, what's going on here? What's that right there? Is that my eyes growing gills? What the hell is happening right there? Is that gonna stay? Yeah. And what is this, huh? What is that all about? Yeah. It's where he carries his nuts in the wintertime now. That's right. <laughs> And hey, I don't condone it. I want to be clear, I don't condone it, but if you're going to drink, we would prefer you do it under our roof. And if it's under our roof, I'd prefer it's a single malt scotch, none of that blended crap, okay? Exactly. <laughs> Listen here, champ. This is important, okay? If someone offers you drugs, remember, just say no. Because if you seem too eager, they'll charge you full price. <laughs> Businessman. Okay. And listen, it's dangerous to play with fireworks on the 4th of July, and it's just plain weird to do it on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Don't you roll it your eyes at me, mister. We're talking to you. No fireworks this year. You weren't the one who had to scrape the stuffing off your grandmother last year. <laughs> that reminds me of something your grandmother used to say. Oh, this is great. When life gives you sweet potatoes, where's Jimmy? She had started to lose her mind by that time, but we know what she meant. Stay positive and find Jimmy. Obviously. We think he was a soldier she dated during the war. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Listen up here. When your mother and I tell you to be home at 9 p.m. on Sundays, we mean 9 p.m., okay? Right. Who else is going to explain Westworld to us? Yeah. <laughs> Are they all robots? You better not tell me they're all going to wind up being robots. The robots. Don't tell me that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, and by the way, you are in hot water, Chief. The lab results came back from the vet, and it turns out the neighbor's cat did not shave itself. <laughs> and also, I found this nudie magazine under your bed. I'm not angry, I'm just confused. You know you have a computer, right? <laughs> What's the deal? What? I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening. Did you forget the Wi-Fi password? It's one, two, three, porn, okay? <laughs> so, I don't know, I guess it's time we finally had the talk, okay? And you learned where babies come from. Bill, you're the expert. <laughs> In your case, your mother and I got pretty far into our second bottle of Sauvignon Blanc, and yeah. uh, we were about a half mile out on the pontoon boat, and let's just say we uh, kicked up some pretty big waves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying we tested the buoyancy. <laughs> Your mom and I had sex. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Listen, sport, if you take one thing away from this family meeting, always have self-respect. 
If your friend is saying mean things about you, he may not really be your friend. He might really be your next president. <laughs> and remember, no matter what, I'm proud of you. Yeah, no matter what, he's proud of you. <laughs> Good talk, kiddo. It was a great talk. Yeah, okay, we'll be right back with William H. Macy. All right. <laughs>